All right, friends, all I gotta say is Right Capital Software is kicking butts and taking names. They have so many updates. Um, still waiting on the new uh, tax forms to be finalized, not through Right Capital, but by the IRS uh, to show the uh, additional line items for capital gains. Man, but I tell you, they got this one update, which is flipping awesome. So it used to be you had to create a second box to show pre-Medicare healthcare costs. Uh, you know, say you were... Hello, handsome. You know what he wants, don't you? Let me show you what old Pablo is Jones in for. Look at this. Oh, 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 yeah. Pablo's saying, give me some of that, Dad. Give me some of that meat. He's got his little bowl right here. Not quite the same. All right, but anyway, so right capital, you can now do, You let's say I was working with some folks yesterday from, um, uh, where are they from? Pennsylvania. And I hadn't seen this before. This was awesome. So they were going to retire, I think, at 60 or something like that. And, and they're going to both be on Medicare 65. And so the old way you have to do is you say uh, retirement health care costs and you have to put a number in, say, you know, I usually use like 4,500 to 5,000 a year for Medicare Part B, Part D. And then you add uh, Medigap policies and out-of-pocket expenses, whatnot, and co-pays. Um, and, and the problem with that is that that, what did you have to get before Medicare kicked in? So before you're 65, it's a different number. In fact, I, I, what I told these people last night was to factor in 2000 a month because private insurance is so cheap now. Thanks, Obama. Um, it's not. So I said, look, all right, let's do 2000 a month for both y'all from 60 to 65. And then uh, we'll go, so we create a, another box for 2000 a month and we'll stop that. And then retirement health expenses kick in. But the problem with doing that is when you hit retirement at 60, it, it, the whole thing was just, it was, it, you, there's work around it for sure, but it's just a pain. So now what Right Capital is doing, come here, buddy. What Right Capital is doing is they're saying, look, you, and one in the retirement health care uh, cost box. So you're going under goals or is it expense? I think it might be expense. There's expense under, uh, yeah, so, so it's under um, retirement. No, 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 it's under profile expenses. That's a profile expenses that's what it is and there's a box that says retirement health care costs so what you do is you say okay i'm going to retire at 60 but before i retire pre and then there's a drop down box that says simple estimate come here buddy or detailed and you want to hit the drop down box that says detailed estimate and when you do the detailed estimate what happens is they'll say okay what is your pre-Medicare expenses? And, and again, I tell you, I think if it's, uh, if it's for a couple, you should do 12000 each. That'd be 24000 bucks. And then I'll have Medicare Part B, Medicare Part D adjusted for AGI. And then I'll also have out-of-pocket costs on top of that. I'm telling you, it's flipping awesome. So what happens is you, Medicare Part D and Medicare Part uh, B will be adjusted for your AGI which will take into consideration, come here, buddy, Irma. And I'm working with the guy today. We showed that. And so, come here, uh-uh, uh-uh, over here. Come, Pablo, Pablo, come. Pablo, come here. Good boy. And so it takes into consideration Irma, uh, which is the Medicare premium increases if you go above a certain AGI threshold. All right, so then what happens is you can put out-of-pocket expenses, and you're probably going to want to put 100 bucks uh, a month extra uh, for a supplement, all right, and then maybe another, you know, say 150 bucks, maybe two thousand dollars, two hundred dollars a month extra for your supplemental policy, out of pockets, your dental, your vision, whatnot. So you got your Medicare B and D, and then you got another hundred bucks a month for your supplemental, and then probably another hundred bucks on top of that if you want, just to be you know on the air on the side of caution. But it does all that for you right there. And then if you're going above the AGI thresholds, oh man, look at that. Oh, so what I'm doing here is I got some. Uh, yeah, I got my ribs on here, and we got some um, leftover, what is this, uh, apple smoking chips. And I also, believe it or not, I also threw some uh, uh, some barbecue um, uh, charcoal brisket, brickets, brickets, uh, brickets in there too. So we got uh, gas on one side, charcoal on the other, got some uh, apple uh, chips in there too. Uh, you probably have to be able to see that smoking, but you got some serious smoke going on there too. So you got and dousing that with some sweet baby rays on the ribs. Oh, it's a good life. Thank you, God, for letting me live in America. I just feel bad for those poor souls who live everywhere else in the world because America rules. Um, anyway, so anyway, so it's just it's that's a right capital adjustment. That's fantastic. And uh, they did 
It's just so much they increase on here. I, I, I don't. So a lot of people ask, Josh, are you ever going to get rid of right capital? Man, I don't. I, the way they, they, they operate is absolutely superior. It's without question. They're good on their customer service. They're adding wonderful stuff all the time to make it simple. It's by far and away the best financial planning software I've ever seen. Um, the tax forms won't change until after the IRS releases it uh, on top of that. I don't think they're going to. They're not going to get rid of the QBI uh, for what's um, for your personal exemptions. Then 2026 will still say QBI, but it just means personal exemption. Just keep that in. QBI is for me. I qualify business income, which I get to write off. Thank you, Trump. Twenty uh, percent of uh, some I can't remember. It's actually a really wonderful thing for self-employed people. Uh, certain kind of self-employed people. Um, what else? So it's not my entirety of my business. I can't. But in fact, the bulk of my business I can't write off because of QBI. But they did some other stuff. There's just tons of wonderful stuff Ray Capital's doing. So if you're on the fence about it, man, I, I, you should get it. Yeah, I charge 150 bucks for sure. I can't guarantee your satisfaction. I don't go out for any support. I can't guarantee I'll keep it you know, for more than a year. Hell, I can't guarantee I'll keep it for more than a month. And if I find out Ray Capital is donating to Bernie Sanders, I'm pulling. But uh, I just, man, I love it. It's fantastic. By far and away the best software out there. E-Money used to be in the running, but E-Money is now going, you know, um, down market. And I, I think they're going to be a lot more, it looks like a lot more just, uh, you know, kind of, uh, I, I don't know, not, not as detailed. Uh, that's my understanding. So, all right, hope you like this. Hope this helps. Thanks now.